Okay, so I'm going to show the assembly of the shoulder antennas for the season one through three, which is this base piece, and season four through six, which is this base piece. Uh, the topper is the same, the antenna is the same. Um, so uh, the first thing that I would say is to telescope this out to the correct length. Uh, this kind of gives you an idea here that you want, this is the first one here, that's, so that's at one and three eighths. Uh, would be the distance of when you need to glue that in. But first important one is going to be to your next, which is then going to be uh, three and three eighths. Or you just, you know, if you to draw, if you were to draw this out or put um, a ruler here, I can even show you in um, uh, millimeters and you know, the metric. So uh, I'll just go like this first. I'll set it up and then I'll show you what all the measurements are. all right so it's about like this now this end piece here you're going to pull all the way out you're actually going to be cutting that off right at that end okay this one you needed to go at least halfway through where the top piece is going to be so that it can actually glue in place and then this one will depend on the distance that you drill inside the base of where you're going to need to cut this off so um show you here in the metrics then if I was to start with this one right here on zero then that gives you an idea that this first one is on just a little bit past the five um, almost just shy of five and a half then that's just uh, a little bit above a nine and a half just close to twelve and a half and uh, above thirteen and a half it's kind of hard to read that there but here I'll try to focus in on that for a minute uh, and then in inches that's what you're looking at there. Basically the distance between there and there is just a little over two inches. And then you got um, almost three and uh, three quarters. And then it was at about four and four quarters and three and, uh, I'm not sure what it's in here. This will tell you everything you need to know. I know this is kind of tedious here, but this will give you uh, the ability. So if you assemble this, the same as the next person, then you guys will have a very unison look on the shoulder antenna. And this was times taken for me to do all this assembly because I wanted to make sure everyone was uh, assembled the same, but um, it, it's just time consuming on my part to assemble each one like this. So I am now going to give you the instructions so you can assemble each one. So this is what you would do. And then you would take your CA glue and you just drop a little bit on each end there and you take a Q-tip and you just kind of wipe around, spin it around, wipe it around, make sure that the CA glue is not creating uh, a large uh, drip, uh, but that it's, and you angle it upward a little bit, you want the CA glue to kind of run down inside the antenna, all right? And then on this last piece here, I would use either uh, a Dremel cutoff wheel, just a cutoff right there, or using uh, sometimes tin snips, okay? So then, once that's glued and it's basically drying, I would go to the topper. And I have to use a file or sanding paper to kind of file that down. So you get like a, um, a cone shape. Hopefully you can see this, how it kind of tapers down. So it's like creating a, a cone. So you would do that as well. And then you would use your pencil and you would mark center, okay? And then um, use a drill bit. This is a seven and uh, 64th drill bit. I start to just do it by hand, honestly, just a little bit by hand. And then I put it in the drill and I just go through just, like I said, only about maybe halfway of, of the um, cone, all right? So that's a little tricky because you got to really make sure it's center. You don't want this uh, cone piece uh, cockeyed to one side or the other. Then um, the base, depending if you're putting together a season one through three or a season four through six, it's gonna need some sanding, some cleanup. Uh, and then on this side this you know, you want to make sure you sand this nice and level as, as well. You kind of see the side where it's been cast. It's a little bit shinier than, than the rest. Um, uh, but again, you want to sand all those edges down, make sure it's all nice and, uh, pretty on all corners, all smooth and so forth. And then you are going to use, um, another drill bit. This is a, um, quarter inch drill bit. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, what I like to do is take this, turn it upside down, put it on my workbench, have this. Uh, I'm attached to my drill and you have to just drill really nice and slow, making sure you're not crooked 
going either down or up or anything because you want this to just go perfectly uh, down the center as best as you can, okay? Um, and it really only needs to go in like maybe uh, three eighths to a half inch. It doesn't need to be uh, very deep. So I'll give you like an idea, right? So that would be like a half is like right there, okay? So that's only gonna go in about that much. If you want it to go all the way to five eighths or so, you can. Um, it doesn't need to be in there very far. And also if you, the more you drill, the more risk you're gonna run of maybe coming through the sidewalls or something. As you can see, it's a very narrow um, piece to, to drill this. Uh, so you want to definitely take your time uh, in drilling that. Then once you have that drilled, uh, you can you know put your drill bit in and kind of put your thumb and find out. Okay, well that's the depth. And then if you've got something marked on a piece of paper, you would you know kind of say, okay, that's the edge of that, that's that. And then you're going to put a mark, and then you would say, okay, now let me lay this on here. All right, and then you would mark your piece with maybe tape or a sharpie, and then that's where you're going to uh, actually, I'm sorry, I messed up there. We want to make sure, I'm sorry, you want to make sure that is marked. You know, these are all lined up all the way through here. Um, so then once you know that that is three eighths from the plastic end, okay, and you know you're maybe three eighths uh, deep or maybe even five eighths deep, then that's where you're going to cut this. All right, so once this has been cut uh, with your Dremel cutoff wheel, you just slide that in there. You put a little bit of CA glue around, take the Q-tip, clean it up, and now that's glued in place, just like that. That's glued in place, these are all glued, that's all glued in place, and that's ready for paint. Same thing for this one. All right, that's ready for paint, and then you're ready to install it. And some people ask, well, how do you install it? Again, that's up to you. You can glue this on. Um, I actually, a little more complicated, but created screws. I used a brass tubing um, that I, I drilled this out first, and the reason why I did the brass tubing, hopefully you can kind of see that there, is so that if I ever needed to take this off, the screws wouldn't fall in the hollow um, shoulder bell. Okay, this has an offset to create the illusion that it's, you know, um, instead of having to use foam padding or something. <clears throat> so that way I can access the screws without them falling in the brass. It, so that, that was a lot of complicated steps that you don't necessarily have to do. Um, but it's just something I wanted to do. I've had this... Uh, Commander Wolf for many, many years. I've not had a break. Um, I guess I was just being overly cautious. Uh, you could also just CA glue on the, the uh, base in place, and that's approximately where it would go. It is slightly at an angle, and this is the same uh, place that it would affix for like Commander Wolf, uh, obviously, and um, Commander Cody, um, or any of the other um, commanders that require the uh, shoulder antenna. And um, that, that is what the finished shoulder antenna would look like. So hopefully, you know, with this assembly, as I said, it's just more important that you uh, telescope the antenna out properly, cut off this end so that the cone will fit, and then cut off this end according to the depth that you drill into the base so that when it's all assembled, that everything is assembling and everything's the same length. Okay, that way everybody's nice and consistent. All clones uh, within the file first are, are in Re or Rebel Legion are matching. So that's the um, numbers there to keep the consistency for the shoulder antenna. Hopefully this has been helpful for you.